Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. You want the latest news in the streets? Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. About Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn, it's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side, period. Period. All of these uh, big de deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them. The, uh, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. All right, tea sippers. Good morning. I had to start with that Cat Williams video because once again, Cat Williams was speaking so much truth a few months ago on Club Shay Shay. And it's very interesting that we're halfway into the year and so many people and so many things are being exposed. Once again, please forgive me for my voice. I'm still under the weather from, you know, my good time in Puerto Rico, honey. I just think like the weather changed from back to Minnesota. It's been real rainy, but I got my Theraflu, okay? <laughs> I've been sipping and stirring my Theraflu, so hopefully I will feel better soon. But as you guys know, the content don't stop, honey. And it's been a lot going on that I do want to come on here and talk about. So recently, Mr. Beast's transgender friend, uh, Chris Ava Tyson, was exposed for being a, you know, a pedophile, basically. You know, he was in this Discord server talking to 14-year-old boys, posting porn, all types of just degenerate bullshit. And so Mr. Beast, you know, distanced himself from his friend and said that, you know, he's no longer going to be a part of, you know, the brand and all that stuff. Only for Mr. Beast's tea to get clocked, okay? They're saying he's out here running illegal scams and, you know, getting kids addicted to gambling. But Mr. Beast was also caught in that Discord server saying some pretty, you know, sus things about how he knows how big his friend, you know, uh, Ava's, you know, penis why do you know the size of your friend's peen? I'm just saying. That's kind of weird. So, Mr. Beast has been having some, you know, kind of inappropriate conversations with young people as well. So, they they were exposed recently. And so, uh, Kai Sinat, who is a huge young black streamer. I've talked about Kai on this channel a few times. He's been doing his thing for the past four or five years. He's one of the biggest streamers, I believe, on Twitch. And so he was doing his own commentary on Mr. Beast and the Ava Tyson situation. And so as he's giving his opinion, um, a young girl ended up hitting up Kai like, boo, not so fast. While you talking about Mr. Beast and his camp and pedophiles and all this stuff, you got some shady people around you too, sir. Because your cameraman Chris was out here trying to, you know what I'm saying, stuff dick down my throat when I was underage. And so she ended up sending Kai a DM. And, you know, again, as influencers, we get a lot of messages. And a lot of messages sometimes we don't see. So I will give Kai the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he didn't see the DM. So she sent it to him. He never replied back. So she ends up sending everything to Keemstar's drama alert. And everything went down. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of break down everything for y'all. I'm going to break down what happened, what she said. So the text messages... It's a lot. Okay, so I'm going to read to you guys the DM that she sent Kai Sinat. So she says, hey Kai, I recently saw a clip about you speaking on the Ava slash Mr. B situation. I do wanted to let you know that Chris, your cameraman, is definitely a pedo. I remember coming across him on OME TV while I was on Discord sharing while I was on Discord sharing my screen with my friends. They told me his name is Chris and that he is an amp cameraman. I said, hi Chris which got his attention and he asked for my age. I lied and said 19 because my friends told me to and I went with it. He asked for my Insta and I gave it. As soon as he DM'd me, I told him that my I told him my real legal age, but I know it's not really cool to lie about that. And from there, I thought he was going to stop answering, but then it led to him being down for 
for a one versus one on COD, which is Call of Duty, which I thought was fine. Later on, it turned out to him being flirtatious, then texting me wild shit. You shouldn't say to a minor. During this time, I just turned 17. I'm now 19. This happened in December 2021 through February slash March of 2022. I will gladly show you the screenshots. I have to prove this. We also use FaceTime and I remember there was a time he passed the phone to you and I was telling you that I could also beat you on 1VS1. I don't know if this helps remember me. So that is what she has sent to Kai. Kai never replied back, so she ended up sending it to Drama Alert. And then these are just some of the messages. So when they started in December, Chris is saying, I wasn't kidding, I actually want to get to know you. She says, uh, laugh my ass off, cool, but respectfully, I'm actually 17. My friends told me to say 19, but you know, I didn't like, but you know, I gotta tell like the truth. Then he says, nah, that's crazy, I respect you. Telling me though, no cap. She says, yeah, I didn't want to do you like that. He says, you cool though, good vibes, LOL. I was actually serious though, if he was 19, LOL. She says, laugh my ass off, ah. He says, you had me confused though. She says, what do you mean? Now at this point, she's being honest with this man and saying, look, I'm only 17 years old, just turned 17, um, and I wanna tell you the truth. So at that point, the conversation should have been dead. Like, okay, cool, nice meeting you, but you're too young. You know, holler at me when you turn 18, holler at me when you're legal. You know, something to that effect but he kept going. Then he goes on to say, you had me confused, what do you mean? I was just laying down and out of nowhere, I hear Chris, LOL. Like people recognize me all the time, but I don't know why it caught me off guard. She says, yeah, I ran into you guys. And then after that skip, my friends were like, oh shit, that's Chris. And then he says, yeah, I was on Discord. She says, and then I went and ran into you again and they wanted me to ask you to make sure it was actually you yeah laugh my ass off what you know about discord she says what you mean i got a discord i play video games so yeah ofc i'm gonna have a discord too then he says you see that's different i was about to say normally only girls who are into video games know about discord what you be playing she says at the moment i'm playing call of duty he says you nice she said of course i'm nice he says, stop it, just because you said, of course, I know you're not nice. Then she says, V, then she says, 1v1. He says, you don't want that smoke. And then she says, whenever you down for a 1v1, let me know. So it goes from there to him getting really sexual um, after a few months, you know, kind of low-key grooming her because then she shows the date of January 1st, 2022. Um, and this is what he's saying to her. Like, I could just imagine rubbing my peen on your puss. I'll put my whole D down your throat right now. Just pick your leg up and put, and put you on your side. And just slowly F you while I choke you. No joke, my peen is hard as fuck right now just for you. I'm so fucking hard, what the fuck? What you gonna do about it? Would you let me F you, like, right now? P probably dumb wet, is it? And then he says, that's how I'm feeling. And then he sends some video. I'm assuming it's video of him probably jerking off, you know, pulling out his peen. She doesn't look like she's replying back to any of this. Then she said that she started to distance herself in a way that wasn't too noticeable. Um, and he was saying, nah, you really don't fuck with me, like, no more. Then he says, why are you never picking up? She missed his FaceTime. And by now, it's July 30th of 2024. So she clearly started feeling really funny about him and decided to just distance herself and just kind of get away from him. So once this went viral on social media, of course, everybody was attacking Kai, saying, have you seen this? This is your homeboy. What the hell y'all got going on in your crew? It was insane. So Kai Sinat came out and he had to address the situation and he was basically heartbroken. He broke down crying. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video with me. Ah! Listen, okay? All right, listen, bro. Let's, I'm addressing this shit as if I would just anybody else. I'm keeping the same energy for any dumb shit I see happen around me. This shit is so fucking dumb. Cause it's like, for those who don't know, 
my cameraman, Chris, the nigga that helped me with mad at my streams, mad at my tech shit, mad at my shit. Apparently, um, nigga, it's not even apparent, nigga. It's here, clear as fucking day. In 2021, just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old, and it's just fucking annoying when shit happened. And shit come my fucking name every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come and relax, bro. Apparently in 2021, this nigga, this nigga was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. Nigga, it gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. Right then on the, right then on right at that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. Right at that moment, you're supposed to drop all conversation. Anything that's below that's below the age of consent, you're not supposed to talk to them. It is not cool. You're not supposed to talk to them. You're not supposed to do anything. You're not supposed to engage in any conf uh, a a any conversation. Not on a different type of like. You're not supposed to just. Not, it's just not right to do. And none of this shit is is fucking. You can't have no excuse for it. You can't have nothing. You can't have no say so. There's nothing to back this shit up. There's nothing in a positive way to to do this. When I seen this shit hit the internet, I was I just woke up. I seen this shit hit the internet. I looked at it, first thing I did was say, hey, let me sit down and let me get down to the bottom of this to completely confirm everything, everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. Um, I reached out to her and shit, and she basically, she, she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed, all right? All that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this because it's like, damn, my nigga, like, 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 just like, like, I don't know how people are not just seeing something or like an age or something and just saying and just stopping. You feel me? It was just some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages that looks fucking crazy, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sugarcoating shit. The shit look fucking crazy, bro. And the shit fucked me up the whole day, gang. Like the whole fucking day. Shit fucked me up. Cause like, nigga, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, nigga, I, had a, I have a whole vision. Like, how I want. <sighs> I need to stop crying and shit. Like, <laughs> I'm over here crying and shit. Somebody who helped me start my whole shit. <sighs> ah, let me tear up. <sighs> oh, my God. I'm trying to chill. I'm sorry, chat. Like, this is why people tell me the live shit not the best option. But this is the most real you're going to get me. Everybody tell me don't go live. Don't, like, but it's the realest you're going to get me. Like, it's the realest you're going to be able to get me and be able to, like, do my shit. And I just, this is how honest I feel like I could be with y'all niggas. You feel what I'm saying? Um, it's unfortunate. What's the text? What's the tech? What's the moves going forward? I know I don't fuck with this shit. I know I don't I don't like any of this shit to be around me. I don't like this shit. I don't condone this shit. This shit is fucked up. It is fucking crazy how randomly like all, all like it's just like even besides this point, it's just like niggas is just doing it's like why does shit just keep popping up on a weekly basis though? Like it's weird, it's fucking weird, bro. Once you see a certain age, you just stop. It is not that hard. You see something, you fucking stop. And you do the right thing. You feel me? So it's like, it is. What's the test moving forward, bro? I'm not associating myself with him. Um, 
He's not associated with me. I'm not associated with him. I got to start doing shit on my own. I have to lock it. I don't want to take no break or nothing because I feel like I have tunnel vision for what I want to do. And I won't, I won't let anything like prevent me from like, you know, doing certain shit. And I, and I reached out to the person and shit like that. And I made sure to, to get her shit. She wanted to be anonymous and shit like that. So, um, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna figure all of this shit out and hopefully I like do the hopefully I like, you know, put the right shit together and shit like that. And it is what it is, you feel me? And it and it's and it's and it's so fucking annoying. And I know how the internet is gonna be like chat, y'all done see me go through so much shit and it's always like I don't be doing like chat, I be chilling. I I generally just wanna stream and just do what I have to do, but it's like every time when I feel like I'm, you feel me? It's like the right direction and shit is like I go. It's like something sets, it's something fucks up, and then I gotta switch all this other shit, and then you feel me? So I just want y'all to know. I just want y'all to know that all that shit is thing. She lied about her age. Yes, she lied about her age in the beginning. But she came out and said she was 17. And it continued. Point black, period. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Point blank, there's no excuse. There's no fucking excuse, bro. All right, so you guys just watched what Kai Sinat had to say. And of course, he was very, very emotional about the situation, which is just heartbreaking. And I think. You know, it's been a lot of conversation. Some people are saying, oh, you know, who is he to, you know, throw his friend to the curve? The girl lied. You know, he's just trying to save his brand. He's just, you know, worried about the money. Um, you're damn right he's trying to save his brand, as he fucking should. You know, I don't understand how people don't understand that as influencers, this is how we eat, this is how we take care of our family, and you're not going to fuck up what the hell I built from the ground up. Okay, so if you don't know how to act accordingly when you stop when you stand alongside me and you're putting my brand and everything that I've worked hard to build at risk, you got to go. Because when somebody's a cancer, that cancer spreads. And what you're not going to do is spread your cancer around my crew and around my brand. So I think he did the right thing. But I also want to bring up a point because I remember a few months ago, um, Northwest went viral um, because Kim Kardashian invited Kai Sinat to her birthday party. And I remember saying, I didn't agree with it. I felt like at the end of the day, this 10 year old child needs to stay in her place. That's cute that she watches them online and stuff like that. But a 10 year old and a 22 year old, I believe he's 22, they have nothing in common. I think like, it's too much of mixing with a lot of these brands. A lot of kids watch Kai, a lot of kids watch Mr. Beast. But we also need to understand that kids are kids and Yes, I don't think Kai Sinat would have did anything to, you know, to Northwest or anything nefar nefarious. But the issue is you don't know who he has around him. And now we're finding out a few months later that his own homeboy, the cameraman, who was also there filming Northwest at the time, is caught up in this scandal. Let me refresh y'all's memory. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? You good? Yeah. Ready to paint? How you doing, Kim? Hi, how are you? How's everything? I'm good. How you doing, guys? How you doing? Oh, what's going on? You good? How are you, babe? Yeah, I got some space for me at the table. Everybody who literally made yesterday weird, you're being so weird, bro. Everybody who made yesterday weird, here's the thing, okay? First things first, bro. I am North's favorite streamer, bro. Okay? So yesterday, all she wanted to do was meet me, bro. That was it. Literally. All she wanted to do was was to meet me. So anybody who was making it weird, like that's the weirdest thing ever. Because like, bro, I have a whole bunch of parents who, uh, whose whose uh, daughters and sons would love to meet me, bro. And I would, and if I could, I would just meet everybody. You feel what I'm saying? We had a great time yesterday. So you just saw that video. I think many people on the internet who were like, you know, why is he there? This is a 10 year old's birthday party. It doesn't make sense. And granted, yes. You know, celebrities go to kids' birthday parties as featured guests. You know, people have wrestlers at their kids' birthday parties. But uh, but you also want to be wary of that because you don't know who's in, to, in the entourage. Yes, Kai, you know, is not guilty of doing anything. 
But now we're finding out that Chris is. So you have to be very, very mindful of who you have your kids around and things like that. And I just think it's really sad. And this just goes to show influencers that you have to run a tight ship. You have to know who's around you. Even for me, I'm not nowhere as big as like Kai and Mr. Beast, of course. But even for me, I run a tight ship. And my thing is the people I have around me from security to friends who are helping run my event, they know the rule with me is you are not to fraternize with any of my fans, any of my tea sippers that are coming. You're not to be exchanging phone numbers. You're not to be, you know, hollering at them. And if you can't understand that, if you feel like I'm, you know, cock blocking or coochie blocking, you can't roll with me. You know what I'm saying? If you're coming in as a tea sipper and you're over here trying to talk to like security and, you know, doing shit you have no business doing, you will never come to another event of mine. I don't play that because if something happens to that person, they're not going to say, oh, this person did that or this person did that. It comes back on Lovely Tea. Well, Lovely Tea's event, well, Lovely Tea, I don't play that. So to me, if you're a part of my inner circle, you're not allowed to fraternize, date, fuck with any fans period point blank i don't play that fans can date each other fans can mix and mingle with each other that's their business but as far as if you're part of my staff and you're on payroll and you're standing alongside me that's not an option and i cannot stand adults who don't know how to control their cooch or their peen okay i'm sure chris has access to all types of grown cooch that he could have talked to because most of these dudes, they'll use the big celebrity person's name to get females. Like, oh, I'm Kai Sinat's cameraman. I'm Mr. Beast's best friend. They will do that. So there are females that are legal of age willing to holler at you. Why even entertain children? Like, it makes no sense to me. And so I think a lot of influencers are going to have to wake up and understand that, yes, these might be friends that you've known since childhood or friends that you've been around for a long time. But the second your so-called friend is putting your brand at risk, you need to cut them off. There's, there, there's no second chances with me, okay? When Mr. Beast realized that Chris Tyson, Ava Tyson, whatever the hell you want to call him, was a liability way back then, he should have been cut him off. But instead, he made excuses, accused people of being transphobic and all this mess. Now we find out, you know what I'm saying, all this stuff is coming out about Mr. Beast. That's the one thing I can say I respect about Kai Sinat. He didn't make any excuses. He didn't try to brush it under the rug. He addressed it head on, even broke down crying and said, you know what? Chris is gone. He's no longer going to be a part of my team. And all I can do is respect that. You had to nip that cancer in the bud. You know what I'm saying? There should be a clear understanding, you know, when you have friends and, and people, you know, helping out with you with camera work or your brand. It needs to be a clear understanding, especially when it comes to fans, because there's a such thing as grooming. There's a such thing as a power dynamic. And even though you're not the person at fault, your friend also has a power dynamic over that fan, over that person. And then a lot of times these fans will try and get with the people around you to try and get closer to you. So you have to be aware of that. You know what I'm saying? You have to run a tight ship and I make no apologies for that. You know, I've had people, you know, feel a way like, oh, well, you know, we're all grown and I feel like you're trying to control. I don't give a fuck how you feel, bitch. Next. There's no if, ands, or buts over here. I run a tight ship. If you can't respect it, if you feel like getting ass is more important than getting a check, you don't need to stand alongside me, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? I don't play that shit. And I just think that, you know, a lot of influencers have to have that same mentality. Don't allow people who have nothing to lose to fuck up some shit that you done built from the ground up, to fuck up your brand, to fuck up your reputation. Don't do that. Don't allow that. If people can't respect your rules, rules and your procedures that you have in place that they feel like they still need to creep and get people's phone numbers and talk to people after you've made it very clear that these are the rules and regulations there's no second chances you will not be at my next event you will not be helping out with anything you will not be standing alongside me you will be looking at the event online from outside the fucking club period point blank so kudos to Kai for nipping this in the bud you know what I'm saying and basically cutting off his friend I know it hurt I know it was a hard thing to do 
but he worked hard for his brand and nobody should be shaming him because of that or saying like you know that's messed up it's not a big age gap oh kai's fronting because he does a lot of sus stuff he was showing ice spices but online you know i don't watch streamers like that so i don't know all the sus stuff that he's done but this dude talking to a minor, talking about shoving his whole peen down her throat and, you know, she's making him hard. All that was just disgusting, especially once he knew that she was a minor, okay? And this is nothing new. This has been going on in this industry, Hollywood, social media industry for years. More and more of these big dick deviants are being exposed on social media and they need to be exposed. And a lot of these guys need to use common fucking sense as well because some of these fans may be trying to set y'all up too, you know? So it's like, just don't interact. Just do what you're paid to do. If you're paid to be the cameraman, you need to stand behind that camera and film. If you're paid to be the editor, you need to edit. Now, if you want to holler at girls on your own time away from my brand that has nothing to do with me, that are of age, do you. But when it comes to like, you know, you trying to holler at fans specifically so you can use your power dynamic over them, that's not cool, you know? And again, the same thing was going on a few years ago with James Charles and all his shenanigans. You know, he still hasn't even really been canceled. So this is just really sad. It's really disturbing, but this is why I keep saying to a lot of these parents, be careful with who your children are watching and what they're about. Because that whole Mr. B situation, does not sit well with my spirit at all. And it's very unnerving to know that not only does he call himself Mr. Beast, AKA the Mark of the Beast, they were in that discord, you know, forcing these kids to call them gods and, and calling these children gods and having them call them daddy. You know, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of spiritual aspects with that whole Mr. Beast situation, very esoterical. We're not gonna get into it in this video, but again, as parents, be careful with who you allow your children to watch. Be careful with who you allow your children to idolize. And if you're going to take your children to these meet and greets to meet their favorite celebrity and stuff like that, you need to be in attendance. You need to be there as an adult. Don't just let your children who are 9, 10, and 11 years old have free reign around these people because you never know who's a part of their entourage. So the whole situation is just really unfortunate. But like I said, kudos to Kai for nipping it in the bud. So with that being said, I would love to hear from you guys. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this entire situation with Chris V basically being exposed after the whole Mr. B situation as a pedo. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Thank you guys so much for the support. Feel free to share this video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.